50 Days of Genesis, Week 3, The Daily 5-Minute Bible Welcome back to our third weekly compilation in the 50 Days of Genesis. This week we've journeyed from Genesis 15 through Genesis 21. These chapters are pivotal as they delve into profound moments of faith, promises, and the tests that come with them. This week, we witnessed the deepening of God's covenant with Abram, his transformative name changed to Abraham, and the challenges he and Sarah faced while awaiting the fulfillment of God's promise of numerous descendants. From the dramatic plea for Sodom and Gomorrah to the birth of Isaac, these narratives not only shape the foundational aspects of faith, but also reflect the complexities of trusting and waiting on divine timing. As we reflect on these stories, we find enduring lessons on patience and perseverance. The trials of Abraham and Sarah remind us that even in moments of doubt and uncertainty, our journey is part of a larger divine plan, offering us hope and reassurance in our times of waiting. Thank you for continuing this exploration with us. Your engagement and support mean the world to us. Please like, subscribe, and share these videos to help us spread the word and enrich others. Join us next week as we proceed with more transformative stories from Genesis, gaining insights and wisdom to apply in our daily lives. 50 Days of Genesis, Day 15, The Daily 5-Minute Bible Genesis 15 After these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am your shield, and your exceeding great reward. And Abram said, Lord God, what will you give me, seeing I go childless, and the steward of my house is this Eliezer of Damascus? And Abram said, Behold, to me you have given no seed, and lo, one born in my house is mine heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be yours heir, but he that shall come forth out of yours own bowels shall be yours heir. And he brought him forth abroad, and said, Look now toward heaven and tell the stars, if you be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall your seed be. And he believed in the Lord, and he counted it to him for righteousness. And he said unto him, I am the Lord that brought you out of Ur of the Chaldees, to give you this land to inherit it. And he said, Lord God, whereby shall I know that I shall inherit it? And he said unto him, Take me an heifer of three years old, and a she-goat of three years old, and a ram of three years old, and a turtle-dove, and a young pigeon. And he took unto him all these, and divided them in the midst, and laid each piece one against another. But the birds divided he not. And when the fowls came down upon the carcasses, Abram drove them away. And when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abram, and lo, and horror of great darkness fell upon him. And he said unto Abram, Know certainly that your seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. And also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge, and afterward shall they come out with great substance. And you shall go to your fathers in peace, you shall be buried in a good old age. But in the fourth generation, they shall come here again, for the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet full. And it came to pass that, when the sun went down and it was dark, behold a smoking furnace and a burning lamp that passed between those pieces. In the same day the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, Unto your seed have I given this land, from the river of Egypt unto the great river, the river Euphrates. The Kenites and the Kenizzites and the Cadmonites and the Hittites, and the Perizzites, and the Rephims, and the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Girgashites, and the Jebusites. Genesis 15, day 15 is ended. 50 Days of Genesis, day 16, the daily five-minute Bible. Genesis 16 Now Sarai Abram's wife bare him no children, and she had an handmaid, an Egyptian, whose name was Hagar, and Sarai said unto Abram, Behold now, the Lord has restrained me from bearing. I pray you go in unto my maid. 
It may be that I may obtain children by her. And Abram hearkened to the voice of Sarai. And Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar, her maid the Egyptian, after Abram had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan, and gave her to her husband Abram to be his wife. And he went in unto Hagar, and she conceived. And when she saw that she had conceived, her mistress was despised in her eyes. And Sarai said unto Abram, My wrong be upon you. I have given my maid into your bosom. And when she saw that she had conceived, I was despised in her eyes. The Lord judge between me and you. But Abram said unto Sarai, Behold, your maid is in yours hand. Do to her as it pleases you. And when Sarai dealt hardly with her, she fled from her face. And the angel of the Lord found her by a fountain of water in the wilderness, by the fountain in the way to Shur. And he said, Hagar, Sarai's maid, whence came you? And where will you go? And she said, I flee from the face of my mistress Sarai. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Return to your mistress, and submit yourself under her hands. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, I will multiply your seed exceedingly, that it shall not be numbered for multitude. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, you are with child, and shall bear a son, and shall call his name Ishmael, because the Lord has heard your affliction. And he will be a wild man. His hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him. And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. And she called the name of the Lord that spoke unto her, You God see me. For she said, Have I also here looked after him that sees me? Wherefore the well was called Bir la Hiroi. Behold, it is between Kadesh and Bered. And Hagar bare Abram a son. And Abram called his son's name, which Hagar bare Ishmael. And Abram was fourscore and six years old, when Hagar bare Ishmael to Abram. Genesis 16, day 16 has ended. Fifty days of Genesis, day 17, the daily five-minute Bible. Genesis 17 And when Abram was ninety years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be you perfect. And I will make my covenant between me and you, and will multiply you exceedingly. And Abram fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with you, and you shall be a father of many nations. Neither shall your name any more be called Abram, but your name shall be Abraham. For a father of many nations have I made you. And I will make you exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of you, and kings shall come out of you. And I will establish my covenant between me and you and your seed, after you in their generations, for an everlasting covenant, to be a God unto you and to your seed after you. And I will give unto you and to your seed after you the land wherein you are a stranger, all the land of Canaan for an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. And God said unto Abraham, You shall keep my covenant therefore you and your seed after you in their generations. This is my covenant, which all of you shall keep, between me and you and your seed after you. Every male child among you shall be circumcised. And all of you shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin, and it shall be a token of the covenant between me and you. And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you, every male child in your generations, he that is born in the house, or bought with money of any stranger, which is not of your seed. He that is born in your house, and he that is bought with your money, must essentially be circumcised, and my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant. And the uncircumcised male child, whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised, that soul shall be cut off from his people. He has broken my covenant. And God said unto Abraham, As for Sarai your wife, you shall not call her name Sarai, but Sarah shall her name be. And I will bless her, and give you a son also of her. Yea, I will bless her, and she shall be a mother of nations. Kings of people shall be of her. Then 
Abraham fell upon his face and laughed, and said in his heart, Shall a child be born unto him that is an hundred years old? And shall Sarah, that is ninety years old, bear? And Abraham said unto God, O oh, that Ishmael might live before you. And God said, Sarah, your wife shall bear you a son indeed, and you shall call his name Isaac, and I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant, and with his seed after him. And as for Ishmael, I have heard you. Behold, I have blessed him, and will make him fruitful, and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he brought forth, and I will make him a great nation. But my covenant will I establish with Isaac, which Sarah shall bear unto you at this set time in the next year. And he left off talking with him, and God went up from Abraham. And Abraham took Ishmael his son, and all that were born in his house, and all that were bought with his money, every male among the men of Abraham's house, and circumcised the flesh of their foreskin in the very same day, as God had said unto him. And Abraham was ninety years old, and nine, when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. And Ishmael his son was thirteen years old, when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. In the very same day was Abraham circumcised, and Ishmael his son. And all the men of his house, born in the house, and bought with money of the stranger, were circumcised with him. Genesis 17, day 17 has ended. Fifty days of Genesis, day 18, the daily five-minute Bible. Genesis 18 And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And he lift up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door, and bowed himself toward the ground, and said, My Lord, if now I have found favor in your sight, pass not away, I pray you, from your servant. Let a little water, I pray you, be fetched, and wash your feet, and rest yourselves under the tree. And I will fetch a morsel of bread, and comfort all of you your hearts. After that all of you shall pass on. For therefore are all of you come to your servant. And they said, So do, as you have said. And Abraham hastened into the tent unto Sarah, and said, Make ready quickly three measures of fine meal, knead it, and make cakes upon the hearth. And Abraham ran unto the herd, and fetched a calf, tender and good, and gave it unto a young man. And he hasted to dress it. And he took butter, and milk, and the calf, which he had dressed, and set it before them. And he stood by them under the tree, and they did eat. And they said unto him, Where is Sarah your wife? And he said, Behold, in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto you according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah your wife shall have a son. And Sarah heard it in the tent door, which was behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age, and it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am waxed old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord, being old also? And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I certainly bear a child, which am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return unto you according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Then Sarah denied, saying, I laughed not, for she was afraid. And he said, Nay, but you did laugh. And the men rose up from thence and looked toward Sodom, and Abraham went with them to bring them on the way. And the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do? Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. For I know him, that he will command his children and his household after him, and they shall keep the way of the Lord, to do justice and judgment, that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he has spoken of him. And the Lord said, Because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grievous. I will go down now and see whether they have done altogether according to the cry of it, which has come unto me. And if not, I will know. And the men turned their faces from thence, 
and went toward Sodom. But Abraham stood yet before the Lord. And Abraham drew near and said, Will you also destroy the righteous with the wicked? Possibly there be fifty righteous within the city. Will you also destroy and not spare the place for the fifty righteous that are therein? That be far from you to do after this manner, to slay the righteous with the wicked, and that the righteous should be as the wicked, that be far from you. Shall not the judge of all the earth do right? And the Lord said, If I find in Sodom fifty righteous within the city, then I will spare all the place for their sakes. And Abraham answered and said, Behold now, I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord, which am but dust and ashes. Possibly there shall lack five of the fifty righteous. Will you destroy all the city for lack of five? And he said, If I find there forty and five, I will not destroy it. And he spoke unto him yet again, and said, Possibly there shall be forty found there. And he said, I will not do it for forty's sake. And he said unto him, O oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak. Possibly there shall thirty be found there. And he said, I will not do it if I find thirty there. And he said, Behold now, I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord. Possibly there shall be twenty found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for twenty's sake. And he said, O oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak yet but this once. Possibly ten shall be found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for ten's sake. And the Lord went his way, as soon as he had left communing with Abraham. And Abraham returned unto his place. Genesis 18, day 18 has ended. Fifty days of Genesis, day 19, the daily five-minute Bible. Genesis 19 And there came two angels to Sodom at even. And Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. And Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them. And he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. And he said, Behold now, my lords, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet, and all of you shall rise up early, and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. And he pressed upon them greatly. And they turned in unto him, and entered into his house. And he made them a feast, and did bake unleavened bread, and they did eat. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house round, both old and young, all the people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot, and said unto him, Where are the men which came in to you this night? Bring them out unto us, that we may know them. And Lot went out at the door unto them, and shut the door after him, and said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. Behold now, I have two daughters which have not known man. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you, and do all of you to them as is good in your eyes. Only unto these men do nothing. For therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. And they said, Stand back. And they said again, this one fellow came in to sojourn, and he will essentially be a judge. Now will we deal worse with you than with them? And they pressed sore upon the man, even Lot, and came near to break the door. But the men put forth their hand, and pulled Lot into the house to them, and shut to the door. And they stroked the men that were at the door of the house with blindness, both small and great, so that they wearied themselves to find the door. And the men said unto Lot, Have you here any besides, son-in-law, and your sons, and your daughters, and whatsoever you have in the city, bring them out of this place? For we will destroy this place, because the cry of them is becoming great before the face of the Lord, and the Lord has sent us to destroy it. And Lot went out, and spoke unto his sons-in-law, which married his daughters, and said, Up, get you out of this place, for the Lord will destroy this city but he seemed as one that mocked unto his sons-in-law. And when the morning arose, then the angels hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take your wife and your two daughters which are here, lest you be consumed in the iniquity of the city. And while he lingered, the men laid hold upon his hand, and upon the hand of his wife, and upon the hand of his two daughters, the Lord being merciful unto him. 
and they brought him forth and set him without the city. And it came to pass, when they had brought them forth abroad, that he said, Escape for your life. Look not behind you, neither stay you in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest you be consumed. And Lot said unto them, O oh, not so, my lord. Behold now, your servant has found grace in your sight, and you have magnified your mercy, which you have showed unto me in saving my life. And I cannot escape to the mountain, lest some evil take me, and I die. Behold now, this city is near to flee unto, and it is a little one. O oh, let me escape thither, is it not a little one? And my soul shall live. And he said unto him, See, I have accepted you concerning this thing also, that I will not overthrow this city, for the which you have spoken. Haste you, escape thither, for I cannot do anything till you be come thither. Therefore the name of the city was called Zoar. The sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zoar. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone, and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities, and all the plain, and all the inhabitants of the cities, and that which grew upon the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. And Abraham got up early in the morning, to the place where he stood before the Lord. And he looked toward Sodom and Gomorrah, and toward all the land of the plain, and beheld, and, lo, the smoke of the country went up as the smoke of a furnace. And it came to pass, when God destroyed the cities of the plain, that God remembered Abraham, and sent Lot out of the midst of the overthrow, when he overthrew the cities in the which Lot dwelt. And Lot went up out of Zoar, and dwelt in the mountain, and his two daughters with him. For he feared to dwell in Zoar, and he dwelt in a cave, he and his two daughters. And the firstborn said unto the younger, Our father is old, and there is not a man in the earth to come in unto us after the manner of all the earth. Come, let us make our father drink wine, and we will lie with him, that we may preserve seed of our father. And they made their father drink wine that night. And the firstborn went in, and lay with her father, and he perceived not when she lay down, nor when she arose. And it came to pass on the next day, that the firstborn said unto the younger, Behold, I lay last night with my father. Let us make him drink wine this night also. And go you in, and lie with him, that we may preserve seed of our father. And they made their father drink wine that night also. And the younger arose, and lay with him. And he perceived not when she lay down, nor when she arose. Thus were both the daughters of Lot with child by their father. And the firstborn bare a son, and called his name Moab, the same as the father of the Moabites unto this day. And the younger she also bare a son, and called his name Benami, the same as the father of the children of Ammon unto this day. Genesis 19, day 19 has ended. Fifty days of Genesis, day 20, the daily five-minute Bible. Genesis 20 and Abraham journeyed from thence toward the south country, and dwelled between Kadesh and Shur, and sojourned in Gerar. And Abraham said of Sarah his wife, She is my sister. And Abimelech king of Gerar sent and took Sarah. But God came to Abimelech in a dream by night, and said to him, Behold, you are but a dead man for the woman which you have taken, for she is a man's wife. But Abimelech had not come near her. And he said, Lord, will you slay also a righteous nation? Said he not unto me, she is my sister. And she, even she herself, said, he is my brother. In the integrity of my heart and innocence of my hands have I done this. And God said unto him in a dream, Yea, I know that you did this in the integrity of your heart. For I also withheld you from sinning against me. Therefore suffered I you not to touch her. Now therefore restore the man his wife for he is a prophet, and he shall pray for you, and you shall live. And if you restore her not, know you that you shall surely die, you and all that are yours. Therefore Abimelech rose early in the morning, and called all his servants, and told all these things in their ears. And the men were sore afraid. 
Then Abimelech called Abraham and said unto him, What have you done unto us? And what have I offended you, that you have brought on me and on my kingdom a great sin? You have done deeds unto me that ought not to be done. And Abimelech said unto Abraham, What saw you, that you have done this thing? And Abraham said, Because I thought, Surely the fear of God is not in this place, and they will slay me for my wife's sake. And yet indeed she is my sister. She is the daughter of my father, but not the daughter of my mother. And she became my wife. And it came to pass, when God caused me to wander from my father's house, that I said unto her, This is your kindness which you shall show unto me. At every place where we shall come, say of me, he is my brother. And Abimelech took sheep, and oxen, and male servants, and female servants, and gave them unto Abraham, and restored him Sarah his wife. And Abimelech said, Behold, my land is before you. Dwell where it pleases you. And unto Sarah he said, Behold, I have given your brother a thousand pieces of silver. Behold, he is to you a covering of the eyes, unto all that are with you, and with all other. Thus she was reproved. So Abraham prayed unto God, and God healed Abimelech, and his wife, and his maidservants, and they bare children. For the Lord had fast closed up all the wombs of the house of Abimelech, because of Sarah Abraham's wife. Genesis 20, Day 20 has ended. Fifty Days of Genesis, Day 21, The Daily Five-Minute Bible Genesis 21 And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age, at the set time of which God had spoken to him. And Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him, whom Sarah bare to him, Isaac. And Abraham circumcised his son Isaac being eight days old, as God had commanded him. And Abraham was an hundred years old when his son Isaac was born unto him. And Sarah said, God has made me to laugh, so that all that here will laugh with me. And she said, Who would have said unto Abraham that Sarah should have given children suck? For I have borne him a son in his old age. And the child grew and was weaned. And Abraham made a great feast the same day that Isaac was weaned. And Sarah saw the son of Hagar the Egyptian, which she had borne unto Abraham, mocking. Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast out this bondwoman and her son, for the son of this bondwoman shall not be heir with my son, even with Isaac. And the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight because of his son. And God said unto Abraham, Let it not be grievous in your sight because of the lad, and because of your bondwoman. In all that Sarah has said unto you, hearken unto her voice. For in Isaac shall your seed be called. And also of the son of the bondwoman, Will I make a nation because he is your seed? And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and took bread and a bottle of water, and gave it unto Hagar, putting it on her shoulder and the child, and sent her away. And she departed, and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. And the water was spent in the bottle, and she cast the child under one of the shrubs. And she went, and sat her down opposite to him a good way off, as it were a bowshot. For she said, Let me not see the death of the child. And she sat opposite to him, and lift up her voice, and wept. And God heard the voice of the lad. And the angel of God called to Hagar out of heaven, and said unto her, What disturbs you, Hagar? Fear not, for God has heard the voice of the lad, where he is. Arise, lift up the lad and hold him in yours hand, for I will make him a great nation. And God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. And she went, and filled the bottle with water, and gave the lad drink. And God was with the lad. And he grew, and dwelt in the wilderness, and became an archer. And he dwelt in the wilderness of Paran. And his mother took him a wife out of the land of Egypt. And it came to pass at that time, that Abimelech and Fitchel, the chief captain of his host, spoke unto Abraham, saying, God is with you in all that you do. Now therefore swear unto me here by God, 
that you will not deal falsely with me, nor with my son, nor with my son's son. But according to the kindness that I have done unto you, you shall do unto me, and to the land wherein you have sojourned. And Abraham said, I will swear. And Abraham reproved Abimelech because of a well of water, which Abimelech's servants had violently taken away. And Abimelech said, I know not who has done this thing. Neither did you tell me, neither yet heard I of it but today. And Abraham took sheep and oxen, and gave them unto Abimelech. And both of them made a covenant. And Abraham set seven ewe lambs of the flock by themselves. And Abimelech said unto Abraham, What mean these seven ewe lambs which you have set by themselves? And he said, For these seven ewe lambs shall you take of my hand, that they may be a witness unto me that I have dug this well. Wherefore he called that place Beersheba, because there they swore both of them. Thus they made a covenant at Beersheba. Then Abimelech rose up, and Phicol, the chief captain of his host, and they returned into the land of the Philistines. And Abraham planted a grove in Beersheba, and called there on the name of the Lord, the everlasting God. And Abraham sojourned in the Philistines' land many days. Genesis 21, day 21 has ended. Please continue with our 50 days of Genesis, the journey with the Lord with verses from the Bible. I encourage you all to join me as we continue on this 50 days of Genesis, immersing ourselves in the Lord's presence through the sacred verses of the Bible.